Hello everybody, welcome to game number two of Rebel G-Man, my first season in, in the Rebel League. Um, <laughs> I went with the long-term first skills of Mighty Blow on both Beast, uh, the Beastman and the Warrior. I don't think it's optimal, I think better would have been to take Block on the Warrior and Mighty Blow on the Beastman. But, um, I mean, I'd take Mighty Blow on the Beastman anyway, but I think Block on the Warrior would have been better. But I don't care, I'm just going to rush, I'm just going to rush Claw Palm on, it, on him. Just to, you know, just because the results don't matter so much. Um, he has got a guard white, which is pretty good. Um, he did lose his first game though, so... Um, right, let's... I didn't look at the rest of his team. Um, I have not Imperator Augustus, no, no, I haven't discussed with Drick yet, no. No. No, that has not happened yet. Um, for some reason I'm dropping a lot of frames, don't know why. Um, I do apologise. The stream's red for some reason. Uh, maybe it's because Senai's playing. I don't know. What, I don't know what Senai's doing in the other room. But um, yeah, it's red for some reason. Yeah, two. Uh, th there's two necros in the division, and uh, and I just got them back to back first two games, which is uh, interesting. I nearly went with necro as well for my team. Ne necro are a really good team, aren't they? They are, especially with this bank crew. Um, I receive because I don't mind drawing. Hi. <laughs> Start with hi. Um, yeah, they're a good team. Um, I wouldn't say they're OP. Uh, if anything, they're like underpowered. Because, the, you know, the definition of a hybrid team is one that doesn't bash as well as chaos and doesn't ball as well as elves, right? So, um... Indeed, Mr. Positive. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, it's too late to restart the stream now. I don't know why it's in the red. 10% drop frames. It's going up as well. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why. What's happening? To make it go so wrong. Oh, it's good. It's just going up all the time. The drop frames. Um, I don't know. Um, I should reply to him, shouldn't I? Can't. The fuck is this? I can't. I can't do enter. Literally can't. I'm pressing enter and it's not working. So what the fuck is going on? Right, so my enter key is working. Oh man, I'm looking like an asshole, but I can't. It's, <laughs> is it is it enter to speak? Aha! Uh -huh. No, I can't click that. Oh, I just can't click on the game at all. Phew. So, John Crash. Yes, streaming. Right. So he hasn't given us a good player to hit. Um, so, Warrior can go on the LRS with the other Warriors. Beastman, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's protected from a blitz. Best for goal can try and score. All right. I don't know. Don't really want to cover the sides too much, do I, with a wolf? Well, all right, good to know. Then let us entertain the crowd. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, all right, so 2D. 
I could actually start with other 2Ds, but then I'm going to start with the other 2Ds anyway, and then make that a 3D for a 3D mighty duel, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't think re-rolling blocks is good here against crappy zombies. So just try to cover the ball and then see what happens, I guess. Uh, no, no, I'm not. No, ducky, I'm going to go block until I get to the last up here. Sorry I didn't see that, I was panicking. Hmm. Well, that was a little bit unfortunate, wasn't it? I mean, lucky, I guess lucky that it, it, unlucky that it stayed in bounds, but then lucky that at least I can reach it. One of these two would have been worse. I can go for the pick up at the end of the turn. Don't re-roll these blocks. Yeah, let's just go for it. Pow. Didn't hover over the skull, go me. Yes, I would say Necro, a hybrid team. Um, I think everyone says Necro a hybrid team. The reasoning is supposedly because, you know, um, uh, so this is a bit crap because I'm going to go for the three dice. I'm, I'm not going to go for the three dice first. I don't need an assist. Derp. Alright, don't need an assist, do I? Of course I'm strength four anyway. Um, yeah, they're, they're hybrid based on the fact that they're not as good at doing stuff as real teams uh, meaning they can't bash as well as a bash team they can't elf as well as an elf team I don't like that my uh, mighty blows exposed here but I wanted to make that a three dice maybe I shouldn't have the idea was that I could protect him with the other beast man afterwards but one, two, three, four, five. See, he could, have, he could have protected one, two, three, four, five, six, but he had to block. I don't want to make a GFI. He can get sidelined, trapped on the sideline. At the moment. I mean, he's the one getting blitzed anyway, isn't he? Or him. So either bl he blitzes him for pressure or he blitzes him to try and hurt him. Glorious. Thank you very much, von Steinberg. I mean, it's not. It sounds stupid to say. I, what I don't like is saying "Welcome to Team Fantastic" because obviously, um, it's not always super relevant. But welcome to Team Fantastic. Thanks very much. Um, I just need to think about this turn. Sorry. Um, but thank you very, very much for this. Right, what do it? He's, he's got to blitz this guy and put pressure on, right? Or he blitzes. So this isn't bad because now he might blitz him and try to hurt him. If he blitzes him to try to put pressure on, he's only got the wolves to put pressure on anyway. He doesn't have ghoul, so that's good. Maybe he won't, bro. He won't. Oh, yeah. Well, team positive. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. Um, it is team positive now, for sure. I could go there and there, then he blitzes him to try and get through. He probably gets through more there. So, yeah, this is... I want to I wanna make him go on this way if he wants to put pressure on. Um, right. Uh, Breton are not really considered a tier 2 team, no. I would say they're considered probably tier 1.5 by most people. Um, but yeah, Breton humans hybrid. Basically, the reason to be hybrid is you're not as good at bashing as a bash team is, and you're not as good at balling as a ball team is. Um, that is... That is what it is, isn't it, really? That's what defines a hybrid team. It's just not being not being as good at, uh, at like, the good things. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Yeah, humans are a bit... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't bash as well as some of us and can't LPS. But I mean, they're still really good. It doesn't make them crap. You know, it doesn't make them bad. Obviously, they just don't have... Um, yeah, they, they don't have as much... Um, they've got... A, yeah, you know, they've got a lot of upsides. They're not, they're not just crap, Like whereas humans are a bit crap. Whereas these guys, you know, Necro... Just do what they do better, don't they, than like humans and stuff. They've got, they cannot bash bash teams. They can, because they've got Claw Mighty Blow. 
pretty pretty often they get claw mighty blow and sometimes claw pawn and they've got fouling so their bash game is way better than humans bash team bash game and they're uh, and then they're uh, they're really you know they've got regions they're much more durable than like the other hybrid teams and they've they've, they've got a lot of movement the wolves I mean the wolves are really good so yeah yeah I guess that's true so he did put in a lot of assists to get the cl to get the claw hit um, I'm not sure that was the best play maybe he's, maybe he's a white hit might have been better but then he doesn't want to get his guard guy stuck now he's done for the either pin him to the side I mean he could have got lucky and pinned him to the sideline which is ideal but he's, he's got his kind of bad come up and see hasn't he because he's given away a hit on his uh, on his wolf now <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like they can jelly deals, no. The fateful dodge, the, the blitz dodge is a classic when they always make it, but it looks like he's not going to dodge here. Um, yeah, Bre Brett's, I mean, Brett's can't bash elves very well. I think Brett's have a better match versus elves than Necro do. Whereas I think Necro stand up to the bash teams better than, better than Brett's do. Obviously, they both en employ a fouling strategy. Um, there you go. It is what it is. Oh, look at that! It's a G5 for him. Sad times. I'd love to, have, love to have. Uh, <laughs> would love to have got the blitz there with him. There's going to be a big scrap, isn't it here? <sighs> So I could three dice with Mighty Blow. That's probably the better play, isn't it? Than freeing than freeing one of these nearer guys. I think he he blocks with Mighty Blow. And then these two block. And then get people in here. Alright, so first action. Oh man, am I gonna am I gonna do safe moves first? That's the question. He can blitz. Pow follow. Then a warrior can come across, and then he can block. How? So then the cage needs to be over here somewhere. So the cage can be here. Safe moves first. Look at me. What a hero. I think I do want to follow. Just so that I know. Mighty blow. Yeah. I mean a zombie, I don't really want people stuck on crap zombies, do I? Alright, so ball's pretty safe. Well, I guess I do these blocks first. Okay, could have made those blocks and not the uh, wolf hits. I guess if I get a push, I don't follow and then the other guy dodges away. Baby, heavy break. Just what we want. So now he can come in. And he can uh, make the cage pretty safe. And hit him. Uh, 
And I guess I don't get a dodge him, do I? But I mean, he shouldn't be able to surf easily. Uh, or probably at all. Chain push, I don't know, I don't know what Jelly deal is. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. I think I just think they shouldn't have Fend. I think the idea that a, a peasant has any Blood Bowl skill is moronic. It does not it does not fit with anything, does it? He's essentially a slave, the same as the Hobgoblin, so he should be six three could be six three three seven like a like a hobgoblin. Um, you know that's okay, but I think it's a bit stupid that they're like they have Fen. I really hate that they have Fen. The idea of the pretty much the worst player in Blood Bowl having a, having a skill starting with a skill that like a legend like Griff has just seems stupid, doesn't it? Griff having Fen makes sense, you know. A, a rookie peasant having Fen not so much. I hate that. I hate that because most of the stuff about Brett's is why are they even there, you know? <laughs> so I think all of the. There should be a lot of arguments about fluff with Brett's, you know? Yeah, the Edge 2 doesn't really make sense. I mean, so are, so are Hobgoblins, you know? Ducky, that's the thing. So. When, when you've got an established line, an established stat line, but they're not really worse than Hobgobs, though, you know? They're really not. Especially as they're on the Blood Bowl team, so they're taking the pick of the peasants, aren't they? To, to get, you know, they still want to win games. And I'm sure peasants, there's going to be some peasants that are tough, in theory, aren't they? You know? There's a lot of farmers that are tough, aren't they? <laughs> So, yeah, but they are. They, it really is the pick of the peasants, isn't it? They, they're trying to win Blood Bowl games with the peasants. They're not just ticking in, picking up any Tom, Dick or Harry. They're getting the, like, you know, I mean. <laughs> ah, but is, is the 6338 basis, you mean, like an NFL player? That's the question, isn't it, Dino? As it's tough enough. Athras supposedly somewhat vampires themselves. I don't know. Again, they're like just kind of humans forced to play Blood Bowl. But again, you've got a lot of peasants, haven't you, in, in, in Bretonia. So you're going to pick the, the bloody biggest peasants. Alright, so I can blitz this guy with Mighty Blow, block him, and then put a warrior on there to kind of uh, control him. Do I stand him up? Knight as well. Bowl... Not so safe here, so I guess I I do re-roll a hit. Do I keep the uh, keep the cage? I don't like, I don't like the fleshy being there. I think I just go for the blitz. See what happens. Hey, Kaz. Good old, uh, not Norwegian though, but Mighty Blow paying off. Did was it was Mighty Blow used? Yes, it was. Injury was a nine. Good old Mighty Blow. I need to do this block first so that I can put the warrior there. Then that really locks him down on the sideline, doesn't it? Um, and keep this warrior protected. Get an extra mighty blow block. Can't get an assist there. This guy's a bit of a doofus, but never mind. I guess I could have had mighty blow here. No. Right, three turns. I've got to start moving forward at some point, but 
getting rid of the guard guy, getting the uh, wolf locked down is both desirable results. Oh, I actually can blitz this guy now to get the, the assist some moves. I should have moved him there so he'd have had a blitz with a fleshy. I don't know. Like, he could have blitzed with a fleshy anyway. Yeah, but that's the thing, yeah, it's one man's interpretation of fluff, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, oh, hello, Joe, you'll know it was, uh, it was unfortunately a, uh, a regen. Oh, him, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe he died, he had, no, he only started with one, he's got three rerolls, and two fleshies, and two wolves, so he only started with one. Um, so, no, I, I, I did, I did badly hurt him, but he, uh, he, he regened. No, he just did some some kind of strange start that let him get three rerolls and not not necessarily a bad build, no Jellio. Let's not be mean, alright? It's a it's a it's just the build that he went with. Not necessarily bad. Yeah, see, so he, he, by keeping that further out, it stopped him crashing in, but also it did let him get that assist to do that, because otherwise it would have been a fleshy, but he could have done it with a fleshy anyway. So. Um yeah, that is the annoying thing that it's it's just what it's just what plasmoid thinks. So you know, oh no, I haven't got an apple. Um, so that's that's what I hate about Brett. You know, um, that's what I hate about Brett. I just hate I hate all the fluff and everything, and I hate that it's just what one dude who really has nothing to do with Games Workshop or anything is just what he thinks should happen with fluff, and I think he's wrong. But you know. Um, that, that's just all. Mo mostly what I hate about Brett is, is from the fluff aspect, really. But um, they're okay. As they're, they're much better now that, the, now that the Blitzers have agility. That makes them like a million times better because there's at least a point to them rather than just being crap humans like they used to be. Like <laughs> Brett Blitzers were just human Blitzers without strength access, which is just stupid, isn't it? At least now they've got edge access, so they're a bit better than bit better than humans in some way. On one hand it's good having my warrior controlling this wolf, but on the other hand it makes it makes him want to push down this side so I can keep him there, so I don't know. If, if I go away from there he's just gonna surf him, isn't he? He's really going hard over this side, he's really asking me to uh, switch sides. I mean, maybe I let him up. Maybe I don't. Maybe I mark him with a beast. Blitz here and go move out. So he could go, he can go here. I don't need to come cover the backside. Do I? As fast as wolves are, they're not that fast. It's a mighty blow blitz. Been running quite well on the mighty blow hit, mighty blow knockdowns. Gotta say.
Yeah, so he can go here. It's still not easy for him to surf. And, uh, yeah, and then he can come up here. Really got to get moving, haven't I? Four turns left, three rerolls. I can maybe take some risks. Yeah, exactly, Dan Ordez. I just don't think you have to add teams for the sake of it and make them a bit crap so that you don't rock the boat, you know? I, I just don't really agree with this endless adding of teams that people are obsessed with. Who's they? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, he's quite out of position now, isn't he, with a stun, the two downed zombies, and the occupied wolf, and the Kaz. So he can get to midfield with a with a fleshies, but not further. Problem is with being chaos, I can't, I can't switch flanks enough, can I? I just don't have enough speed to do stuff. I'm surprised he's done that. He could have fleshy blitzed to get his wolf up, but it looks like he's just going to go for the old frenzy trap. Le double frenzy trap. He he hits it one dice, all one dice or skulls. Oh, no, he had an assist there. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> ah, yeah, I was thinking this is great because he can't get away from me. But he could. I was just being stupid. All right, surf, though, isn't there? Unless he stops it with a fleshy. If he does stop with a fleshy, then maybe I can blitz the wolf to advance. So, he's in a pickle. Yeah, all one days are schools, except when they're not one day. Yeah, yeah. I was maybe he's a bit too positive there, thinking that uh, thinking that that was going to happen. Oh man, I could mighty blow his wolf. Mighty blowing his wolf is like more tempting than surfing a zombie. <laughs> If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop <laughs> bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is tough because I can't really get forward. I mean, I have to. I just have to block this guy down and surf this guy. And then I guess base with some people. Base with some warriors. And then cage with the uh Cage with the beastmen behind. <laughs> haven't haven't set foot in his half yet. I was really hoping he was going to move the fleshy there. I think he thought about it, in which case the surf would have been glorious. Uh, okay, yeah, Pauper, he's not letting me through, is he? Um, he did He did let both wolves get hit, and he did, um, you know, kind of allow a surf, but then on the other hand, I'm, I haven't crossed the halfway line in five turns. So in terms of um, him to stopping the score, he's doing quite well, isn't he? Don't think this lets him hit the ball. 
don't think I think the ball's pretty safe here and then yeah I'm giving up a hit or something but I can push next to her yeah they over nerfed Kemri didn't they after that jelly yeah for sure and they, they still weren't that broken they were just like they were just incredibly powerful they didn't oh yeah he can stick me with a fleshy oh that was pretty bad wasn't it that was pretty bad letting him stick me with a fleshy Really counted the chops. Oh, oh shit! Well, you got a Kaz, but <laughs> that's uh, that's certainly now there's a space opened up, isn't there? For sure. Um, right. I think I want to go here with him. He wants to block there. He can block there. He can block there, he blitzes there, and then make some kind of cage. Mm hmm. Well, that was not what I wanted at all. I was blocking for pals. Which is a dangerous thing to do, isn't it, in Blood Bowl? Um, especially when all you rolled is pushes. Um, <laughs> ah. right, let's blitz him anyway. Power him. Should have maybe not moved him so quick. Tagging here is actually pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, tagging there is good. That that occupies that wolf a little bit. This one can occupy this wolf. Mhm. Mm classic. Oh crikey. It's all gone a bit peak tongue, hasn't it? It's the classic it's the classic Jim Pow turn here. Maybe it's here. Right, at least I'm in his half. <laughs> it was every block a push there. One, two, three, four, five, five blocks, all pushes. Um, wow, that was, uh, I mean, at least I didn't turn over like he did. But that wasn't, uh, wasn't good, was it? The dodge hit isn't even that bad, sadly. Yeah, though of course Orcs are one of the most successful in, in Fumble Majors. A lot of those Fumble Majors were Living Rulebook 4. Um, I don't know how many of those were uh, were in Living Rulebook 4. So, you know, it, it'd like be interesting to see the uh, th uh, the stats. Yeah, Orcs. Orcs are pretty good. I mean, they are pretty good. Devastating turn. Hello, Almato. The game is going very pushy. Um, yeah. Yeah, Malmir with his ridiculous stat freak orc team. Yeah, I mean, this isn't so bad. I mean, his best shot is probably this this flesh golem. So I did quite well to. Maybe I could have even gone, gone here. Um, no, no, I couldn't have gone there. Yeah. I think this was about as good as I could have got, given that every block was a push. <laughs> That's not what you need, is it? Not what you need at all. But um, one man up as well on the drive now after he got... He got a Kaz as well, so he, he can look on the positive side that he did turn over, but at least he got a Kaz out of it. 
And it means second half he's got the men advantage because he regened and that was a serve. So. Oh, Varney. Was he jelly also? He's he is a good he is a good coach there. Presumably. <laughs> I mean he's played uh I think he has played quite well. Oh baby. He hasn't let me he hasn't let me push forward at all, has he? Uh, although he although he had to give up the surf and the hits on the uh you know the hits on the walls because he was pressuring with them, which is what I thought he would do. Pretty, pretty much huge stun as well because that's in this little fight, isn't it? Oh, rip, rip, mighty blow, man. Oh, I wasn't really liking Phil the old pro series, yeah. Not played Blood Bowl in 27 years. Ah. Yes, so, yeah, there was the old pro tips. Orcs are really good because they never get removed. Well, rarely get removed. And then they just got killed all the time. Huge one dice coming up. All right. Thank God that wasn't a pal. And I thought I might have not followed that. I think not following was, was the play there. Just quietly. Come on, in fact, he's got a reroll gone. It'd be great to see a fail dodge, wouldn't it? It'd be really good to see a fail dodge. Oh, baby. Right. So the problem is here, I don't have a scoring threat that I can just get by moving. I do have to start off the turn with a block. So I mean, that, I guess that's why the follow-up was good there. Um, if I go here... I can block him as long as I get a guy in. Yeah, I'll probably just push him. Alright, so now I've got a GFI to score. Which sucks. But I've just got to move here first, haven't I? So I've at least got a chance. Alright, he can block him to free him up. Him to free him up potentially. Oh yes, huge power in it when they've got when they've got stand. Like it's funny because the stand firm is a bit shit, but um, it's actually pretty huge when you uh, like sometimes. Obviously, I want to block the mighty blow. I want to block the wolf with mighty blow. Could go here, block him, and then blitz him, and then get through afterwards. Block him and f to there and follow, and then blitz him to here. So block him to there and follow, then blitz him to here, and then go away. That's 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 what I'm liking. So got a pal. With mighty blow, KO. Pretty good. Got another pal. Maybe I could have made a GFI with a ball carrier this turn. But no, I think I was right not to. Go there. He can one dice me to get a one dice. Or he can dodge. Going here. Means that he can dodge one, two, three, four, double GFI. Or he can, uh. He, ca he can't, it locks them down completely. Here. Means that he could one dice to one dice to one dice. Yeah. 
This means though that you only can still get the fresh golem because you just blitz with a fresh golem and get in and base with a fresh golem. They were all pals that turn. Oh no, they weren't. This one wasn't. Nearly all pals. If that had been a power, it would have been huge. Um, yeah. Because that stops him blitzing and basing as well easily. If this KO stays out. Yeah, he's got the double. Because I was scared of the wolves. Because I haven't removed them yet. He's in scoring range. If it all goes tits up. At least that's a badly hurt. Oh man. Just shouldn't it should have gone on the sideline, shouldn't I, I guess? <laughs> See, if I'd if I'd gone one square closer. That's the but the weak thing about safe moves first, isn't it? That's the weak point of safe moves first. Let's him roll some dice. Hmm. Yeah, but then he then he would have had the one dice to one dice the ball. Oh yeah, to the right. Oh yeah. Yeah, to the oh yeah yeah that was yeah that was hippies correct yeah yeah. Yeah, good shout, hippie. Fuck. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was right. Fuck. Fuck. Cock shit balls. No, yeah, that's right for sure. Um. Right, two dice with him. In the end zone. Um. GFI there. Blitz him, so block there first, and then maybe block him as well. So block him, maybe block him, get him in, blitz him. He goes there, passes. So do the blocks first, because that's more fun. And might kill a guy. He can't score. Yeah, he's got turn eight, but I guess he might want to try a one turn, potentially. All right, so block means I can go for the second block, doesn't it? Or do I? Because what if it's a push? A push there is horrible, isn't it? So I think I don't make the second one. This is a GFI, whichever way I cut it. Yeah, if I push here... It's just horrible. Oh, is it? I can go around this way. One, two, three, four, five. I can go around the other way. So... Classic fleshy block. he's only got one chance to get his wolf back and yeah I should have I guess I should have as hippie says and put the uh, put the base the zombie the different direction and uh, I could have had the ball carrier in range of getting surfed from the wolves but I, that was the weakness of moving in before I blocked the wolves wasn't it I think I was a bit unlucky but he played well Fair play to him, he played a hard defence and uh, I only got as far forward as I did because he, he re-rolled into a 1 in 9. I mean if his wolf stays out, the second half's looking decent with 10 aside. Um, with him down a better player than what I've got.
But if he if he makes a removal and this guy comes back, it's gonna be really hard. Glorious! Thank you very much for the sub, Duba man, and welcome to Team Positive. <laughs> Positivity. Oh wow, one dicing without a reroll. One dicing. Oh man, the one dices. Oh, I'm I'm sad that Hippie said that. Yeah, I'm sad that that would be there with that. That basing that would have shut down everything, wouldn't it? I was only considering. Because I had three squares and I considered this one and this one. I didn't even consider that one. Oh! Regen or not? Not regen, so it's 10 versus 10 at least. Yeah, if I don't know what he suggested or if I'd just gone close to the sideline. Either way, wouldn't it? No, you couldn't have won. Oh, yeah, you could have just won deed and done the four plus dud. But anyway, yeah, true. But it would have made it harder. Oh, yes! Wolf stays out. Thank you very much, Doberman, anyway, by the way. Um, yeah, the, the mad one dies were, were on turn eight, though, so it didn't matter, did it? Um, that wasn't part of his defence. That was after the drive was over. And he was just, like, killing time, basically. Um, yeah, it would have it would have helped. I mean, if it would have been better for me to have just stayed there. I could have just been on the sideline and he couldn't have blitzed. You know, that was the thing. It wouldn't have shut it down. It would have just made him do a one die, so yeah. Um, but yeah. It was, be it was better than what I did. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about it. I thought about going here or here and I went there. But I, I didn't. Th I didn't think of this. This would have been. This was the best square. I didn't think about it. I thought about this and this. But yeah, what would have been best was just have my ball carrier here, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, so ten nine versus ten is good. Two players up. Got some mighty. Oh, why am I exposing a mighty blow guy there? That's pretty stupid, isn't it? Um, so yeah, it's on the positive side. I might be able to get the turnover. Um, just go ahead. On a turn over here. He doesn't have ghouls, so he's only got two agility three guys. Um, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I went mighty blow first just because I thought it's in a league and results don't really matter in a league, do they? Hello, how are Yeti? Yeah, I, yeah, I thought you know that's that's it, isn't it? It's the the nature of these tiered leagues is um, is such that the results in the first season aren't as important as team building, and in fact, the results in the second and third and fourth season aren't as important as team building. And unless you think you can win the title, in fact, team building is more important, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, keeping them alive is more important, yeah. I mean, that, that was the thing, you know, like, obviously, block makes him more likely to stay alive, yeah, sure. Sure, so it was six and two threes um, on that score. Block definitely would have made him more reliable for not getting knocked over, but I'm going to go Mighty Blow Claw. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to promote eventually. Oh, man, touchback. Killer. Couldn't get as lucky as him on the kick. Um, you know, I mean, he's got three re-rolls, but still, that would have been really helpful, wouldn't it? And he's, he's sacrificed one of his agility three guys here on the LOS. So he, he, his only edge three is on the ball. So uh, he really ha lacks options now, doesn't he? I can base him one for one across the pitch and then have two more players, one more player. Yeah, two more players to his ball carrier, as long as armor eight holds without an apple. <laughs> well, Mighty Blow progresses a lot faster than Block. So, you know. Also, Carlo and Shelley, if I was somehow to get to the uh, playoffs, as Pauper69 says, um, if I was somehow to get the playoffs, I would rather have a Mighty Blow Claw guy. Um, than, you know, a block guy. 
Yeah, Mighty Blow progresses faster and kills players. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's more like it puts you in. It's more likely to put you in a position where you can farm star player points as well. So, <laughs> I got, also got Mighty Blow. I got Mighty Blow and Brainless Chaos, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think the the killer is it's better when you TV down. If I was somehow make it the playoffs. I can just kill a good players, yeah, with Mighty Blow Claw. Whereas with, with Block Mighty Blow, sure, I could kill the best players, but I have to get a lot luckier because I'm not getting the 75% knockdown, am I? How do I just base up here? The stun. The stun makes me think no. Well, yeah, can't you? Mighty Blow Claw is is good for winning as well. Like, it's not bad for winning. That was the thing, you know. If you remember Lupak's silly team that he made that just went Mighty Blow first, it wasn't even silly. It's still a great strategy for winning. Just going Mighty Blow first. It's not even, it's not even bad or stupid. It's just... It, it, it's, silly that, it's silly that that's true, but it is true. Exactly, yeah. I think I, mean, I think one block, one mighty blow is what I would have done if I was being super competitive. Um, it shouldn't be going tits up, Necropotence. I'm looking at the stats page. So I think what I do here is nothing. Because you've got to stun two guys marked. Hit his furthest forward guy. Sorry, two stuns, two players marked. Um, keep this. Maybe he's edge over this side, seeing he's got two fleshies this side. Oh no, I still want to keep someone behind him for frenzy. Mm, it's okay. Yeah. Edge over that side, because he's got his two fleshies that side, hasn't he? Maybe, maybe I could have moved these two both one square, but it's too late now. Yeah, Twitch, when I've had automatic quality on, it's gone a bit twitchy, yeah. That's that's when it's gone a bit weird. I think maybe it's when it's got um. Maybe it's when it's on auto quality is when it like it can't decide between two qualities or something like that. But I don't. Know, I've I've noticed it. Mine going a bit wrong lately, but it's only been when I've had it on auto quality. But I mean that could just be a coincidence, you know. Could just be coincidence. Coinky dink. number of 50k streams, imagine that. He's he, he probably going to push down that side now, isn't he? Maybe I should have put a bit more on that side. Because he, he ain't going to fucking push down this side, is he, with three flesh, three, you know, three zombies. This way he's got two fleshies. But even then he's so slow that he, he can't even push that hard down here, even if he does it. So, so yeah, next turn, the four, the four beast men get back in the game and probably mans him hard. Ask him some questions. Because, like, I still want to win. <laughs> even though, even though winning isn't that important and keeping your players alive is the most important. <laughs> and skinning up your players. I still want to win. I can't help that. So, um... Thinking about a foul, can he? Wow. 
Wow, gym foul? Get your gym fouls out. No, it was a ducky foul. It was a ducky foul. No, oh, that's sad. I mean, it's okay. He's got a 40k guy that he, he might lose, but wow, I think that was. Not sure about not sure about that play. But it worked for him. <laughs> so, like fouling when it works is really good, isn't it? But uh, that was very risky. I think. Well, like it's it's not risky in terms of team player cost, but it, it's risky in terms of his numbers, isn't it? If he loses another play and he goes down to eight, eight versus ten. He's really in, in a lot of trouble if he'd gone to eight versus ten. But as it is, he goes to eight versus he goes to nine versus nine, and he's uh, he's very happy about it. So high risk, high reward. Not just not just a stupid high risk thing. It was high risk, high reward, wasn't it? And he got the best possible result. I'm not going to cry about it. As is the team fantastic motto, <laughs> team positive motto. There is no point crying about it. No, all right, sorry. See you later, Dynamo. <laughs> um, do I just man's? The problem is the guard, isn't it? That is the thing. If you want to be part of team positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Boom. <laughs> it's a shame there's no boom on the end, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Could I could just go all men's here. Like, it's horrible in terms of the scariness of attrition. But on the other hand, the payoff is, is there, isn't it? The payoff is obvious of going all men's here. It's high risk, high reward. You only live twice. At least we've got the gym powder set it up. <laughs> Three warriors together is not bad, is it? He could get surfed if he goes too far out. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. No. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> oh, ballsy. Ballsy. Maybe I could have re-rolled that. Maybe I could have agreed re-rolled that with four re-rolls. Yeah, he's in a pickle though, isn't he? He's based up, fully based up. Not easy to get two dice blocks. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is almost as a team re-roll, yeah. But it's not easy for him. It's not easy for him to even hit here, is it? You can get a one dice block to start everything. Um, but even then, no, I can do that hit, yeah. That doesn't help him, though, really, does it? That's just a two dice, but it doesn't set up another block. So... But like that's all it does, though, isn't it? It, it has that, and it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't change this this, this situation. No, no. Oh come on! This is a fail. It's glorious, isn't it? What a huge region that was, by the way, on that on that white. I mean, if he was down this white, he'd be screwed, wouldn't he? But yeah, the guard means that he might get a... 
Might get something though. Yeah, he hasn't got anything obvious apart from the white dodge, and if this fails, it's two dice on the board, isn't it? <laughs> Which is uh gotta be in his mind. That doesn't lead to anything apart from a pal. <laughs> Two dice, so. but still two, two, three pluses he's had to roll, hasn't he? Here, Lona block. I mean, it should hold up pretty well. He only had one two dice block and then two one dices, or a dodge or something like. You know, he was he was in a very much in a, in a pickle, wasn't he? There you go. He finally fails the. the oh, he eats a reroll, but doesn't fail in the end. Oh, thank God! Thank God he didn't have the reroll for that dodge. Because now I've got two dice on the ball if I get a if I don't fail this block, don't I? Um let's stand him up. And stand him up. I probably want to block. He's got a block. No, he's gotta block him. He could block him and he could block no, I can't free up this warrior. So he wants to block to free up these two afterwards. Mm-hmm. Pretty unlucky, isn't it? He gets away with all those, all those one dices, <laughs> and then uh, I made a, I make a two dice from all double scores. Oh well, got the power there. Yeah, it was an irrelevant one dice, one dice really. <sighs> Make cheer fires with these guys. Maybe just one cheer fire. I'll just get him standing. What does he do to get an assist? It's pretty easy for him to do stuff now. I think I just have to get men back. Double score here is horrific, a double down isn't so bad. Oh, I can't even hit that one anyway, I can only hit this one. Hitting him. There's no real payoff, is there? Mm, maybe there is. Yeah, both down. If I hadn't made that block, he would have had it. <laughs> the catch is good. 
Obviously, it's better than not catching it. He doesn't have block to get the ball down, but he can get two dice on the ball very easily. Yeah, that gives away a two dice block, doesn't it, making that block? Nah, I guess I shouldn't have done it. I knew it was very likely to fail. But yeah, he gets a chain here. Now I just want one GFI to assist from the zombie now that he's got the power. And he gets the fleshy hit afterwards if he needs it. Shouldn't be saying this in case he's watching, but yeah. Yeah, he's gone for the worst play, in my opinion. I mean, he does get the, he does get obviously more, the kind of, you know, kind of payoff of getting the uh, wolf to react afterwards. But uh, I think that was not the play. I think the play was to blitz with a blitz with the uh, wolf, and then, you know, get the hit on the fleshy if he fails. But he can't score this turn, can he? So, you know, I've got these, that's why I like getting these two, these two just back, rather than making a GFI and failing it. I mean, I'm probably, you know, although I'm Mr. Positive, I'm aware that dice rolls fail, right? I mean, the Mr. Positive is, doesn't mean that I think I'm going to pass anything, but it just means I'm, I've accepted that I can't pass everything, you know? So... You know, you roll. If I roll, if I make a GFI there and roll a one, I'm in a horrible position. Whereas just getting back, he's not out of the woods. So, and actually, he didn't get a two dice block there because he did the chain first. You can one dice though, but dangerous against mighty blow, isn't it? And he doesn't really get a lot out of it. I mean, the frenzy had its own risks of having to make a GFI first. So the fleshy was the fleshy two D was easier, wasn't it? Um, or he could have just you know moved the frenzy in and move, he could have just moved the fleshy in for the assist and blitz of the wolf. But uh, yeah, maybe he wanted to, Wimby wanted to to make these GFIs before attempting the pick up or whatever. There's plus and minus as to everything, isn't there? Oh wow, ball in the crowd. Oh my god. Surf wolf. And... I mean, <laughs> I know I've got a piece of paper that says don't surf, but uh, rules are definitely made to be broken in some cases. I have to do this first. I have to do it first. That's the only bad thing. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That was a huge pickup fail for him, wasn't it? Ball into the crowd instead of next to a flesh golem. And uh, Wolf surfed. Yeah, that was that was horribly unlucky for him. He's got the four plus dodge. If I go here, he doesn't have a. He's only got to do a five plus. He can only do a five plus dodge. I don't want to make a. It's a block of mighty blow that would free a warrior. Um, glorious. <laughs> Twitch remembered it was my anniversary a day late. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> Thanks very much, VIP scroll dude. Uh, yeah. 
Thanks for staying fantastic and positive. Right, I think I, I think I just uh, this block though gets him back to to. Uh, okay, I've got, I'm going to do the block first. Because now there's more protection. And that's just good, isn't it? Right, I could get away from him completely now. Could just completely get out of range. Could just go here. And then I'm completely safe this turn. And then turn 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Turn 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Turn 15, turn 16. This gets me completely safe. Uh, he can't even do like... I mean, here he could do a 5 plus to hit the ball. Any other place he could do things. I think this... This is the way. Although it looks stupid. I actually put this guy in the wrong place. I should have had him here. Um, but um, uh, concede here. No, no, Necropons is a league game, so I'm pretty sure he won't concede. I'm pretty sure nobody will concede. I mean, maybe people who are new, new to Blood Bowl who've joined. I mean, Rebel is popular with new players. They have like a new player division and stuff. I mean, you would think that the new players would be in the new player division, which would mean that I would really, really doubt anybody to concede. I don't know, maybe they do. I mean, people people conceded in Legion League, didn't they? But I would really, I would really think that they wouldn't concede in, uh, in this. Yeah, see, so if I should have had this guy here, then it would have been a 2D uphill. And also, a push wouldn't have been good enough to, to get him round. Now he can, like, double GFI to serve. Or I guess he can just serve the other. He can just serve the other. He can just serve him on a, on a 1D or something, or a 2D. Yeah. 1D surf, and then, hmm. I would say, I guess I was just thinking if he, if he powered him, he could come round and surf him. But, yeah, because he didn't. Because he didn't, then, uh... Yeah, so I can make a bit of a cage next turn anyway. Hey! Last re-roll or not? No. Alright. So now... I can actually protect the ball, can't I? So we can go full... Full forward. this guy hmm. whoa nearly nearly made that <laughs> um to the him first I guess so uh-huh Kaz, Mighty Blow guy. Was it Mighty Blow? What did it? Nine, yes it was. Skulls here, not that bad actually. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I like how I like how I'm both down. Both turns have double skull. I've both downed as well. But uh, you know, it's okay. It doesn't matter really. The bad thing is his uh, guard guy is free. 
I didn't really want to stand up my Mighty Blow guy to get punched. <laughs> yeah, Necropotence. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny how I've gone from the saltiest to the least salty. Nah, it's actually, it's actually worked out well, isn't it? Obviously, I'm going to blitz his him, him just because he's the only Edge 3 guy in the house, so this good guy is 100% getting blitzed. Um, obviously, first, most important is to move forward. Um, I can now blitz him into a mighty blow hit, which is great, isn't it? Um, he can go here. Blocking here would be really good because it would it would mean that I could block off the backside with him, but then failing would be really bad. I think I'm I'm happy that I'm not going to fail this two dice block. <laughs> Famous last words, I know, but uh, the fact that I'm getting to block him into a mighty blow hit as well, and I'm willing to use the reroll. Very good now, isn't it? <laughs> block would have got the knockdown there. No block sucks out a, uh, a reroll. But, reroll. Good. It only uses up the zombie move. What does a move do? Not a lot, really. But I'm 55% to get knocked over at the moment. If I dodge, I'm only 33% to get knocked over. So dodge is the right play in my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did was, was did Mighty Blow get the uh, get the KO? Yeah, Mighty Blow got the KO. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. And that's the thing. And and here's the thing as well. Oh, hello, Crumsley. Um. And yeah, here's the thing, right? If that guy had had block, and I had had block, there's no knockdown. And whether it, whether Mighty Blow was needed on the KO or not, sure, it costs you rerolls, but it does get more removals. You know, there's no doubt about that. Mighty Blow is Mighty Blow is can be very good. Obviously, sometimes it really hurts you the fact that you don't have the Mighty Blow. But it's true, there's no star player points for it. But you know, in just in terms of winning a game. It can really be really crucial that you know getting those extra. In a way, you roll more knockdowns by not having block sometimes against against skilled players. Against skilled players, you um like when I say skilled, I mean block players. You know, got quite an echo. Um, right, I shall turn off my desktop audio then. Um, yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? It seems to pick it up. I guess I've got to not have sound on, or uh, or use headphones. I really don't want to use headphones. I like the uphill here. It was the right move. It's the only way you can put pressure on. Mm. Well, not really unlucky, but just didn't get the dice he needed. Injury of seven. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, sure, if your opponents don't have block, sure, you know, then it gets more knockdowns. But what I'm saying is if your opponents have block, sometimes Mighty Blow gets more knockdowns. That, that's all. I'm not even sure I need to do this, but um, I will do. <laughs> another, another third double skulls of the, of the game. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, isn't it? GG.
and he levels a Dowid. Dowid, no, because he's only got one touchdown. Maybe he's with an MVP. Um, but. Come on, pow. Yeah. Not bad. Got pretty lucky in the end, didn't I, I guess, with the Kaz and the KOs. Um I mean the, the the KO roll on the on the wolf was huge, wasn't it? Um had he had he come back, it may well have been a different story, but I think ultimately he paid the price for lack of agility three on the team. I could three dice this, couldn't I? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could actually three dice, but without a reroll I'm not going to. Um Good luck. In the rest of your games, and uh, we, I thought he, I thought he did very play well in the first half to stop the score. Um, but yeah, second half, he was kind of screwed by his team choice a bit, wasn't he? Oh, thanks. That's nice, isn't it? Look, lovely Jim getting lovely positives back. Brilliant. Oh, I can't hear the positive. That's the only bad thing about this. If I don't have an echo or a headphones, and I don't get to hear that, and got the apple now, thank God. Had two fame there, crazy. Obviously, not going to re-roll a five. Who gets the MVP? Flat fart. Oh baby, we got a level. And uh, yeah, so we both made about about the same armor breaks. I just got a lot luckier on the. On the Kaz and KO, but then of course I did have Mighty Blow um, and did make a lot of blocks with Mighty Blow. Uh, if we have a look, who uh, let's see if we can spot the Mighty Blow players. <laughs> and not so much with a Beast Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven blocks with a Mighty Blow guy because one was a reroll. F L A P F A R T flap fart. <laughs> uh, Flat fart. <laughs> Thanks, Hippie. Um, and then, but Guy de Caron, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks from the Mighty Blow guy, from the Mighty Blow Warrior, and uh, a few from the other guy. Well, a few double skulls there, weren't they? Double skulls on, on the one who could have taken block, and uh, double skulls on the one who could have taken block. And double skulls and the one who could have taken block. So, <laughs> had I taken block, it may have got me. Um, it may have got me an additional knockdown at some point. But um, it certainly wouldn't have saved. <laughs> wouldn't have saved any turnovers, would it? <laughs> um, right. So yeah, hundred percent going apple. Don't need to think about that. And double is going to be. Probably block. I don't really. Ah, this is. I could go for a jump up. I could go for a crazy jump up, uh, but that, I think that would take far too long to pay off. So I think maybe he goes block. Um, am I going to play on? No, I don't think so. I was just. It was just. It was just for this one game, really. Um, yeah, jump up is really, really horrible, isn't it? I mean. That would really take way, way too long. Dodge would take too long. Uh, you know, block claw mighty block mighty blow claw is is all I want. Is all I want to go. I think. Uh, I think you know. There's one guy who's gonna go on. I'm not gonna take it yet anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it yet anyway. There's no need to rush anything. Um, when the games are this far apart, so I will definitely wait until I see who I'm playing before I take the skills. Yeah, jump up is really is really. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just it's just horrible value and opportunity cost. It's still like a it's it's still it's still a funky skill. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not a bad skill, is it? It's 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 better than not having jump up, but it's just horrible TV value and a horrible opportunity cost. Is the uh, is is the thing, right? Anyway, that was good, isn't it? Good start here to the league. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.